What's up everybody, this is Coach Tim Springer with Spartan Basketball. Hey, I'm gonna take two, three minutes out of your time, just talk about some things that I see that are, that are happening, that some players are struggling with, and I wanna give you some answers here. Look, we all do our workouts. We do our personal workouts, either that skills trainer gave us, we found online, maybe on SpartanPT.com, just saying. Um, but there's a, the way we are doing it, we're not getting the effectiveness that we need, and I can see it by the way players are coming in ready to work out. They're not really ready to work out, and we need to talk about that. So let's talk real quick about four things that you got to be mindful in every workout. Number one is your intention. Intention. And you say, Coach, what do you mean by intention? Well, basically, what is your whole purpose working out? Are you just going just to get better? What are you specifically working on? Are you working on ball handling? Are you working on shooting? Have you decided what your strengths and weaknesses are, where you need to grow, and, and how, many, you know, how many reps did you get yesterday? How many reps did you get today? What is your intention? What are you trying to accomplish in every workout? There should be a goal to every workout, and the goal of every workout should be a mini goal within the big goal of what you're trying to accomplish. Like, let's say you're getting ready for tryouts. We've been talking a lot about that lately. So what's your big goal of when you hit tryouts in the season? Is it to be the best shooter in the conference? I don't, I don't know. I don't know what your goal is, to be the best point guard, well then maybe you gotta get your handle right. But you gotta know those big goals so that you can set your small goals, which are your intentions, and then from there, you'll have a purposeful workout. Number two, intensity, intensity. You gotta love the workouts where players are in the driveway, shoot one shot, go get the ball, slowly make it to the next spot, shoot another shot, and that's where their workout looks. So, so number one, they waste a whole bunch of time. Number two, they never push their body to get in shape with their conditioning. That's what you understand, your skill workouts should be a part of your conditioning regimen to get yourself ready for a game because yes, you should run, yes, you should do jump rope, yes, you should get on the bike and do all that, but the truth is, some basketball conditioning you can only recreate by doing basketball. So your skills workout should also be a way to condition yourself for games and build your skills. So number one, intensity is important there. Number two, I don't care how good you can go between the legs, pull up and shoot. If you don't do it at game speed, you're gonna struggle to do so when you have to in a game. So intensity is number two. Along with that, I'm gonna put reps, repetitions. How many reps are you getting a workout? How many times are you shooting the ball? How many times are you handling the ball? And there's plenty of workouts out there and designs you can get your skills trained, you can get with me, email me, I don't care, it doesn't matter. And, and I'll give you what you need to maximize your reps, but again, it goes back to your intentions. Well, if your handle's pretty good and your shot's weak, well then, if you're gonna work out for an hour and a half, you probably need to spend 75% of that time shooting and 25% of the ball handling just maintaining. It takes less time to maintain than it does to build a skill. But you gotta have some kind of goal and, and idea of the amount of reps you wanna get. And I can tell you if, you, if, if you're shooting less than 200 times a day, you're not shooting enough. If you're not dribbling the ball more than five to 600 times a day, you're not dribbling enough. So think about those numbers and think where you gotta go. And last but not least, Yes, I lost my eraser and I'm using a tissue to do this. I, I, someone's gonna notice that and probably, probably leave a comment and that's cool, that's cool. We're all human, all that matters is we're getting this done here. So anyways, results. You gotta know whether you accomplished what you, what you intended to do. So number one, you should write down what you intend to do and then two, you should write down what you actually accomplished. There's no better way to get better than to look at what you've done or what you did and, 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 and be able to look at it and match it to your goals and what your intentions are. That'll tell you if you're making progress. That'll tell you if you're being successful. That will tell you if you're where you need to be or if you need to step it up or if you're on the right track. You've gotta track results. And the other side of that is, you know, you track all of this week, you track all of next week, you track the next week, and then you go back and look and you can see, am I getting better? Are my percentages getting better? Know how many shots you took compared to how many shots you made. So again, here's four tips. I hope they really help. 
I can tell you if you implement them in your workouts, your workouts are going to go up, your skill level is going to get high, higher faster, and you will see more improvement quicker. So that's it for today. If I can help any more, there's a link below, SpartanPT.com. Go ahead and click it. You can contact me there. Blog with tons of drills, tons of workout tips. This video will be in there. Anything you can do to get better, you got to do it. Use online as a resource, not so much entertainment. Take care. God bless.